Welcome to Mark's Moving TV. My name is Mark Silverman, President and CEO of Mark's Moving and Storage. Today we are with our strategic partner, Bob Ruska of Navis Pack and Ship of Mass. Hey, Bob, how are you? Hey, Mark. Nice Thanks to see you. Thanks for having me here. So we do a lot of work with you, but tell me a little bit about how you got in this business and all about Navis Pack and Ship. Well, I got into this business back in 2013 uh, while contemplating a move from working for another employer to going on my own, I decided I would use the expertise that I had gathered uh, over 30 years of uh, supplying companies like General Electric and Siemens and Dell in the area of packaging to take that expertise and develop a system whereby we would package products like those, along with household goods, art and antiques and so forth, and move them around the world. That's how I got into the business. Um, I found that uh, that expertise in the packaging area really lent itself to, um, to satisfying this particular part of the industry. So what is Navis? What is Navis Pack and Ship? Is that a franchise? Is that an independent company? What is Navis? Navis is a franchise. We are uh, the Boston area franchise of Navis. There are 40 franchises around the country. Uh, most of them are located in the major metro areas. So New York, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Dallas, etc. Um, so we service uh, most of the Boston area, southern New Hampshire, uh, northeast Connecticut, uh, and most of the state of Rhode Island. So, as a strategic partner of Mark's Moving and Storage, you've come to our aid many times. Uh, give me a few examples of where you've helped our customers and how you've been able to partner with us and help. Certainly. So, um, so it has been a, a really nice relationship, Mark. Um, we have uh, businesses that are similar, they are adjacent, but they certainly don't overlap. Um, one particular uh, opportunity that uh, we worked together on was uh, moving some very high-end expensive art uh, to uh, South America for a dignitary located here in Massachusetts. And um, uh, you had the confidence in us to uh, build some very specialized crate for this art. Um, the actual value, uh, I don't quite remember, but it was, it was very, uh, very valuable um, and had some uh, value beyond just the financial values. So we built that crate and um, you moved it in a, uh, in a sea container, I believe, or maybe an aircraft uh, to your end customer. So, so great, great example of uh, what we're able to do, what you're able to do that a lot of the audience doesn't know. So people know that Mark's moving in storage, we do moving, we do packing, we do storage, but often they think that that's just a move down the street, maybe even a long distance move, but they may not think about it uh, to call Mark's moving if they need something sent internationally overseas and uh, more specific to your involvement with us, uh, they may not think, they may not realize that we can actually create and protect valuable artwork and get it from here in Massachusetts uh, to another country. And we're able to do that because of our partnership with you. So thank you because I know that in fact that artwork did make it to its destination in perfect shape uh, and they were very happy with that. So uh, people can call us, uh, we can uh, coordinate the efforts with you, or if it's just a small item and they're calling you directly, what is the best way for someone to get a hold of your phone or you, you want to give out your website address? Yeah, certainly. Uh, so the uh, web address is www.gonavis.com. Click on to the locations tab and type in Massachusetts and you'll come right to our website. You'll see our picture of our facility. You'll see uh, a handful of examples of work that we've done similar to your project as well as uh, some biotech equipment. We do a lot in the biotech area. Um, we have a picture of a motorcycle that we've uh, created. We're actually doing an upcoming project for one of your uh, customers. Um, so that's a good place to go to get our information. 
and uh, our phone number and my email address and everything is right on the website. How do you determine whether something needs to be just wrapped in uh, corrugated in cardboard, whether it actually requires a wooden crate? And tell me about some of the challenges that you run into. I understand there's certain type of wood that needs to be used if you're creating something and shipping it out of the country. Yeah, so, um, so some of it is, is, is clearly just uh, our ex years of experience. My foreman has been with me for six years. He's seen quite a bit. Um, so, we, so we have experience, we know. Other times it's looking at the item and understanding what's going on with it mechanically um, and figuring out uh, how, what type of route it might take, how far it's going, uh, whether it's going by a truck, air or ocean. Um, smaller items tend to go small parcel, so FedEx and UPS, so they're handled more ruggedly. Um, some of our unique challenges are that we uh, we actually have to create stability in the product itself that doesn't exist. And there are some ways that we've uh, figured out how to do that. So we're actually make the product more robust and then package it and then uh, ship it out to, uh, to the destination. So it's not quite as simple as just taking a piece, dropping it in a box and uh, putting some tape or nails on it and saying goodbye to it. Uh, there's Clearly. actually a little bit of engineering and uh, quite a bit of thought that goes into the whole process. Uh, and as far as uh, the wood that's used, again, I thought sometimes you could just take a crate, uh, take some nails, some screws, uh, put it around a piece, and it was set to go. But I've learned from you that that's uh, not quite the case. Tell me about some of the rules, the regulations that you deal with when shipping things internationally. So the, um, the, the main rule that we're uh, governed by is what's called ISPM 15, which is a regulation that states that all non-man-made wood so anything other than plywood or particle board or things like that, which is man-made. Um, so two by fours, one by fours, four by fours, et cetera, uh, have to, if they're going outside of the country, they have to be uh, stamped with, a, with an ISPM 15 stamp. Uh, we are monitored every month. We have an inspector come in, check our stamp, check our logs to make sure that we've logged our wood usage properly. They check our lumber supply to make sure that the lumber meets the ISPM 15 standard. Um, so this is, a, uh, this is a, uh, an additional product uh, service offering that we, that we offer that we can uh, stamp uh, non-man-made wood and have it exit out of the country safely because the, the danger that you face is if you do not have that wood stamped and it goes to a country um, other than Canada, which is the only country that does not require this, um, you could have your, your shipment held up a very long time in customs. Well, one of the reasons that we rely on you is for that expertise, is for that knowledge of how to be compliant. The last thing you want to do is ship something somewhere, have it held up in customs. The recipient can't get it because the rules haven't been followed. So it's always comforting for me to know that uh, you know exactly what you're doing, you're following all the rules, and again, our customers are thrilled with your service. Uh, so uh, I look forward to providing you with more shipments so that we can keep our customers happy. Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, exactly how things are packed. I know that you can uh, put a couple chemicals, I heard. Uh, you can mix some chemicals and make a, a foam mold for pieces if it's a small Tiffany lamp. I know you have a whole bunch of styrofoam and, and all different components in there. Uh, I, I got a better idea. Instead of telling me, how about we take a walk over to the workshop and you show me how it's done? Sure. Let's take a walk. To. You got a lot of stuff in here, Bob. What, what is all this stuff? Oh, this is uh, everything from household goods to appliances to artwork, medical devices. You got a couple of machines over here. What's going on with these? Are these well, in the process these, of being created? These machines fabricate wood. Uh, this machine over here is what's called a panel saw. So this takes plywood that we buy in volume and cut it to length and width. And it's your job to take it from this state and create the crate? That is exactly right. So, so what would you do to this machine? How would you prep this machine? First of all, we'd look at the machine, we'd open it, we'd look at the internal parts of it uh, to make sure that all of the, um, the mechanical parts are 
uh, locked in place. If not, we would either simply lock them or speak with the customer and get the details about how to do that. Then we would look at the overall shape of the machine. We would uh, weigh the machine on our scale. We have a 5,000 pound capacity scale. We'd weigh it. That's important to understand how to construct the crate and properly cushion uh, the machine for the transport. Quite a process. So these crates over here, these are crates that are ready now to be shipped. Uh, how are those going to go on a truck or a plane or how are those being shipped? So this particular crate is being shipped by a, a truck. It is going from here to the University of Kansas. This is one of our repeat customers and he purchased a microscope uh, from MIT in Cambridge. This crate is going by air to Geneva, Switzerland. It contains some uh, beautiful pieces of uh, sculpture that uh, a local artist has created. And, and uh, as she said to us, uh, these are my hopes and dreams. So it's a lot of pressure putting all sure. those hopes and dreams in your hand. But judging by the way it's created and strapped, uh, I have no doubt that it'll be a successful shipment and everything will be just perfect when it gets there. What about the chairs? Are where you nap at night? Or is this something that you actually uh, ship as well? Uh, we don't nap at all, Mark. We work constantly for our customers, and uh, this is a chair. This is a simple item, but it's still somebody's uh, uh, part of their family heirloom. So we will carefully wrap this. We'll create a custom corrugated box for it. Uh, all of our boxes, most of our boxes, are custom cor uh, contained in a sheet and we make a box for this and this will go along with that mirror that's right there. Well, you do an awesome job for our customers. Our customers are very happy. We're proud to have you as a strategic partner. I want to uh, compliment your success and thank you for everything you did thank for you, us. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for watching Mark's Moving TV and see you next episode.